Good evening and welcome to Drakenheim. This is the Dungeon Dudes Weekly Dungeons and Dragons 5th Edition Livestream Campaign. My name is Monty Martin, running the game as Dungeon Master. And I'm Skelly McLaughlin, deceased, playing a skeleton. <laughs> Uh, and we're joined today by our good friends. Jill Denitis playing Veo Senya, the very concerned uh, Tabaxi Gloomstalker Ranger Rogue. And Joe Gorman playing Pluto Jackson, the love lost human battle master. Thank you for joining us once again. If you are just tuning in for the very first time, welcome. Uh, Kelly and I post new videos every Thursday on our YouTube channel where we cover everything Dungeons and Dragons, including advice for Dungeon Masters and guides for players. You can check it all out at youtube.com slash Dungeon Dudes. You can also join us on Tuesday nights or today, which is a Monday night, uh, when we record the campaign live on Twitch. Check us out at 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern time at twitch.tv slash dungeon underscore dudes. You can also watch all of the episodes on our YouTube channel. Don't forget to take a look at the links below for our Teespring store where you can find all your faves like Troll Killer, uh, Yes, 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 and of course, Dragon Force. Uh, and you can take a look at bit.ly slash Dungeon Dudes merch. We are also pleased to announce that Dr Dungeons of Drakenheim is also available as an audio-only podcast on Apple Podcasts, Google Play, and Spotify for your listening pleasure. We are almost through the backlog, taking a little bit more time than anticipated, but we're getting there. With that... Let's return to the ruins. Drakenheim is no more. Struck by a falling star, the city bathed in eldritch fire on that woeful eve. The tumultuous aftermath brought chaos, families torn asunder, and a kingdom shattered. Fifteen years later, monsters stalked the haunted streets of Drakenheim. Caught amidst rival factions struggling to rule the rubble, three unlikely partners venture forth into the crumbling city in search of riches, renown, and revenge. Welcome back to the ruins of Drakenheim. When last we left our heroes, their pursuit through the under taverns and structures of the Queen of Thieves in a desperate gambit with the Rattlings has left them deep in the Queen of Thieves' lair, passing through hallways of, tra of deadly traps through the Queen of Thieves' office. They found Katarina von Kessel's inner sanctum, a private treasury, her wardrobe and bedroom, and a strange octagonal chamber wherein Sebastian sat upon a throne upon which his flesh was seared from his bones, leaving only a skeleton behind. Ah! 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 <laughs> Luckily, we have, uh, you know, immunities to being frightened right now or else I'd be going for you. <laughs> the hero's beast is helping. But ah! my tummy is full, but my heart hurts. Uh, uh, um. So you see... Um, this this smell of something kind of like burnt pork hits your nostrils. It smells good. <laughs> I don't want anyone to see my. Tears. As this, as all that remains on the throne is a blackened skeleton. Pluto, do something! I don't know what to do. Can we? I I, can I we rub some ointment <laughs> on the. On the skeleton. As you go to touch the skeleton, it disintegrates <gasps> into a pile of fine <laughs> dust. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do that? I thought I was helping. <laughs> he looked like he needed <gasps> No! And it's like crumbling? It's just it, crumbling, crumbling to <gasps> from where you touched it. Yeah. The skull falls off onto the ground and crumbles into a pile of dust that scatters about the room. I, I start swooping through the dust and like, and it's falling through my hands as I'm yeah. trying to pick it as up. As you pick it up, it just falls right through your hands. Put it in a bottle! Put it in a bottle! <laughs> I start sweeping it up into like a little <laughs> container. Anything. Anything. You're, you're sweeping and sweeping it up and as, as you do, the dust just kicks up and, and swirls all around. <laughs> I think I swallowed some. <laughs> I start hyperventilating a little bit, like, I can't get it out of here. 
The only okay. saving grace is that he's now kind of inside me. <laughs> <laughs> That's not... No! Breathe it in. Breathe it in, Veo. No! I won't do it. We can bring it back from this, right? Right? I don't know. Okay. Um... Um, I rush back into like the room and I start like looking through her stuff to be like, is there anything that points me in the direction of why? Um, I'm in denial now. There's lots of makeup and some masks and there's a red wig that kind of looks like Sebastian's haircut. (laughs) I bring it up. We start to build a new Sebastian. (laughs) And I put it on the pile of dust and I'm like, yeah, that's better, right? No, the hair's all wrong. And I start to fix it. <laughs> <laughs> it's all wrong. I it, it, find goggles. Uh, okay, I go look for goggles. There, There's a pair of goggles in there that kind of look, looks like Sebastian, but you tore them apart and broke the lenses when you were raging through, through the hole. It's not the same. <laughs> and I smashed them again. <laughs> okay, Pluto, seriously. Okay, get ourselves together. What do we do? I don't know. Do we... I would ask Sebastian what to do. It's true. He was always the planner. Um, What about this throne? And I start to, like, inspect the throne, but I don't want to touch it. Okay. Um, Give me an investigation check. Twenty-one. You see that there are residual motes of arcane energy thrumming through it. Uh, almost in the outline of where Sebastian was sitting. <laughs> this just makes it worse. Um, but, are, and are you trained in Arcana? Nope. Okay. Um, you I mean, you can see the visual traces of it. It yeah. looks like magic, but without any training in Arca- formal training in Arcana, it, it's hopeless to identify what has actually occurred. Can the throne move if I push it? Uh, if you place your hands on it and try to push it. <laughs> the way you worded that. <laughs> I want to, yeah, I want to, like, try to push it from the back. Okay. Um, you, it's almost right up against the wall, but you're able to move behind it and uh, start pushing at it. And with a screeching noise, it moves very slowly from from the wall. Probably weighs a couple hundred pounds. I'm checking behind it. Maybe he's just maybe he's just behind it. I've seen magic tricks before. You move the throne fully off its off its original place and leaving deep rents and scratch marks in in the floor, <laughs> but there's nothing underneath. And ch- checking the ground underneath it. Yeah, give me an investigation check. 13. You tap thoroughly across across the ground. There's it's solid. Uh, I take my mage hand and I start to pat and feel like the... Is it cushioned? What kind of chair? The the throne is is stone. It is not cushioned. Okay, just to feel if there's any like crevices or anything with my mage hand. Feeling around, um, the only thing that you can feel as you look around with the the mage hand um, is it seems like on the wrists of the throne there is a compartment of some kind. Oh. Is it... Is on it the locked? armrests. Is it locked, or can I use my mage hand to pop it open? Um, you pop it open with the mage hand, and a pair of manacles fold out and over the armrests. And then another... And as that happens, a... Um, a compartment opens around where a person's neck would be, and another manacle slides out. So that if someone was sitting in it, they would be locked in place around their neck, their wrists, and their feet. And where would it face? They would be facing straight forward. Uh, like towards the door or the fireplace? Yeah, towards the, towards the wall. Because the throne is in the middle, in between the two doors of this octagonal chamber. It, it's not in the queen's bedroom. It's oh. in it's in. It was in the main chamber. It was right? in the main chamber. Yeah. Got you. Um, where it's facing, I go and I use my mage hand to feel the wall. Okay, it faces opposite where the little table is with the bottle of wine. Mm-hmm. Feeling the wall, there's a piece of artwork here. Mm. Um, it looks like to be 
uh, a scene of several uh, craftsmen uh, defenestrating a uh, moneylender. And the look around, there's nothing behind the painting, though. I know it's not its intention, but I want to try to use the Helm of Telepathy to read the thoughts of the pile of dust. <laughs> the pile of dust is um, just a pile of dust. <laughs> Nothing. Can I sense uh, Sebastian's thoughts anywhere in this room? You cannot. In fact, as you look around, it's hard to see any traces of the dust anywhere anymore. I get down on the ground and I start to look at the ground to see if there's any any holes or anything. I'm like, where did the rest of Sebastian go? No! And I look and see. There's no trace of wind in this chamber. Just the dust is spread out and it's either dispersed so thinly you can barely tell it's there or... But e- even r- r- rubbing your hand across the stone floor, like it turns up the dust of the chamber, but nothing else. I don't, um, I, I mean, we can't even, there's just the pile that we had in all his stuff is all his stuff gone. Yeah. All of his belongings, anything that was on his person is gone. See, this doesn't, this doesn't make sense. None of this place makes sense. Where did the queen go? We chased her to a dead end. Um, I want to I go around the rest of the walls and see if there's anything else. Like, I really want to take yeah. time to do Taking it. the time to go around through the walls. I'm helping. Yeah. The only other opening in here is the small chimney that you came through as gas. Did Sebastian have the wine? We distributed it, didn't we? We, we each took um, a vial of it. Okay. Yeah. But he took two. Yeah. Okay. No, you took two. No. Okay. Uh, did I? I thought he did. Yeah. Okay. And so we, we, we can get out of here, but we can't leave this mystery. But then are we going to get back in? Are the two of you going to spend some time searching around through the room then? Is that your intent? Yeah. Okay. With that, I'm going to have the two of you step out and Kelly, get back on in here. <laughs> Uh, no, you two, uh, yeah, secrets. What's up? Hey, Callie. Sebastian, as you sit on the throne, there is a flash of light before you as you see the flesh seared off the bones of Veo and Paluto, we're leaving behind only a blackened skeleton as a bolt of lightning strikes both their bodies. Oh my god. I, um, okay, I, I, I jump off the throne and rush mm-hmm. to the two skeletons. Um, you rush to the, the, the two skeletons, and what do you do? Oh, now I have to make a choice. Okay. I rush to Pluto's skeleton and try to grab it. As you touch the skeleton, it begins to crumble into dust. Oh, God. And then the door opens. Make a perception check. I get a two. Okay. One of the doors flies open behind you, and all of a sudden you feel the arcane energy that you were was on your body stripped away from you someone has surprised you and cast dispel magic on you so i lose like all my telepathic bond yes. and everything oh god uh, i spin around to see who's there it's a cat cat what did you do to my friends they're all right they're they in a don't safe look place. all right. No, they don't. 
but they're fine. I'm looking at the skeleton and the pile of ash on the ground. She says, come on. She pushes open the door to her bed to her bedroom and the room is completely intact. She taps her nose. Is this an illusion? No, it's perfectly real. It's the other ones that you were in that were fake. Why did you bring me here? So that we could talk on our own without those two bullheads getting in the way of it. Okay. Let's talk, Cat. All right. Finally. <sighs> Listen. Veo's got a lot of anger. And Pluto is a Caspian. And that whole family, I should know, because they're my grandparents. Well, through... I'm related to them through my mom. They're going to come in here and they're going to take over this whole city if you give them the chance. If that's what you want for Drakenheim, so be it. But I have to be honest. At this stage, look what's happened. I just, I'm getting word now from all of my boys about what's going on in the city. And it's not good. It's really bad. What has happened with these ratlings has doomed any chance we have of saving the city. We can take care of it. At this point, we don't even need to worry about the Silver Order. That army is marching to their deaths. There's there's ways to deal with it. I, I know there are. I, I have a plan. Really? Yes. I always have a plan. From my perspective, looks like you're grasping at straws. There's... There's a musical instrument that can lure the rats. I, I've been informed about it. <sighs> that many? If some start to follow, they all will. No, they don't work that way. I communicate with Sebastian. The, the... <laughs> Whatever you think you have with one of those ratlings, they're getting smart. They're going to learn what's going on. They're going to figure out this whole thing. And they're a bigger threat than anything else now. We if... have to focus on what we can actually achieve. Whatever you're trying to do right now, you're trying to make a play for the throne, and I can't let you do that. Why not? You're a spellcaster. There's rules. Who told you those rules? The Amethyst Academy. And who told you the stories of the sorcerer kings of old? The Amethyst Academy. And why do you believe them? Why wouldn't I? They're... Who else is there? It, it makes sense that a mage on a throne would, would be a problem. And it makes sense that the Amethyst... Like, and who told you that that made sense? Haven't you... Th the Amethyst Academy, the same people who didn't tell you who your mother was. They... They raised me. Of course they did. Because it was convenient for them. And the story of the Sorcerer Kings is convenient for them. Why is it convenient to not have a mage in power? Because that way they actually can be. And no one's the wiser. They put me in power. They did. They did. I can change things. Maybe you can. But right now... Whoever's going to sit on that throne is going to be a ruler of nothing but a city filled with rats. 
But there's still a good reason to get that throne. We can get Mouse back. Through the throne? I think so. And then what happens after that? Well, we can take it one step at a time. Kat, you've tried to kill my friends. For all I know, they're dead right back there. Why the hell would I trust you? Because of what we've been through together? You, you abandoned me. You never showed your face again. I made a mistake and I wanted to talk to you about it and you disappeared. And then it became a scary thing to ever see you again. And now here you are. And you're the monster that I always feared that would come from the accidents that I caused. You know... You're gonna have to... There's no escaping those memories. And you know better than anyone else that there's no escaping who you are. But Sebastian, to your credit, you're the son of one of the greatest archmages of the past 100 years. I read her books. She's brilliant. She is think was thinking of things, magic that are just completely beyond anything I could imagine. You have power, real power. We're born with this, and we have the responsibility to use it. Not to steal the throne. That's an opportunity that's stolen from us. All these rules of the Edicts of Lumen? Why? Why should they be? We can change those things. What and that's have, just what we're going to get started with. What do you have against Pluto taking the throne? Or Veo being the Lord Commander? To be perfectly honest, I could deal with Veo as a Lord Commander. But Pluto, we could find something for him. But him, his nephew, no, not on the throne. Why not? Because it's mine. But it's not. It never was. It is, and it can be. We can change it. And if we have it, we might actually be able to do something. But if you put Paluto's nephew on that throne, well, there's going to be many more people that are going to try to control him, but no one's going to control me. If we put Pluto's nephew on the throne, the three people who are going to be telling him and advising him are going to be his uncle, Pluto, who is one of the strongest and most valiant hearts that I've ever met. There's going to be me, the Archmage, who may have caused some problems in the past, but I think that I can throw together maybe a few plans that don't involve the Rattlings. I'd like to believe that I hmm. I can be a smart influence. And then we have Veo, the Lord Commander. That, those are the three people. That might be true if you manage to deal with the Rattlings, but at this stage... You're not even going to get into the castle unless you want to work with me. I don't want to fight you, Cat. I don't want to have to fight you anymore, either. But I don't see how I can let you just take the throne. After all I've seen you do, after all the threats, the lies, the deceit... Not to mention lies and deceit. Who watched me get poisoned. You put me up against a, a, a monster in the fighting pits. You threaten me with a bomb under the cathedral. 
when we were trying to do good? Hmm. I even vouched for you during that meeting. But it's all worked out, hasn't it? No. There are more problems now. Your men are being... Problems that you created. I take responsibility for the rattling situation. I lied to the rat prince when I first met him. I convinced him that we were his gods. And I used him. I used him to get places. I used him to gain intel. I used him to enter the city. I used the rattlings every chance I got so that I could get a foothold in what was going on in the city and get me, Veo, and Pluto into a position where we were able to make more powerful choices and help the people out that we needed to help out. I didn't foresee it going this way, but just because I made a mistake does not mean that you should be able to take the throne. So why are you so mad at me? For doing to you what you did to the Rat Prince. Because the Rat Prince wasn't my friend. We used to be inseparable. We used to be more than friends. (sighs) A lot's happened. Yeah, but instead of coming out and, and confronting me, you hid. You lied. I had to. You threatened. You almost blew up Pluto. Your men did. And now, I'm still the one holding all the cards. And you're still trying to tell me that we can work together and be friends while you attempt to backstab and murder the people I care most about. My capacity to backstab and murder has become greatly diminished by the circumstances that you have created. Good. That was the goal. That is why I have the rattlings here. And yeah, it's a problem. But you're the bigger problem. Well, crashing two problems into each other is a good way to solve both of them at the same time. And I'm telling you right now that before the situation gets any worse, we've got to make that one shot we can do it but you have to work with me let's say you convince me let's say I agree what about Veo and Pluto I'm not going to kill him. I won't try. All I need is one day on that throne. One day. And you'll get Mouse back. Yep. Well... Well... You and I, and maybe your friends, can get Mouse back. And what's stopping you from killing us when this is all over? I don't know if you've noticed, Sebastian. I'm really good at tricking people, but I'm not really good at fighting myself. And I'd rather not. And at a certain point... There's a little bit of brute force that's needed in this situation. When I first stole all the badges and I had enough to get into the castle, I went in. I've been in the castle. And... Well, let's just say that there's things that exceed my own abilities. I don't want to kill you. I don't even want to try, because that hasn't gone well the last few times for either of us. You have your whole base is being overrun with with rattlings, and your men are fleeing. And I just watched my two friends get turned into skeletons, and am lost in the maze of your labyrinth dungeons here. So maybe 
maybe there is a point to us working together. But if I'm going to make that work, if that's going to work for me, because I need to make sure that a few things are in check if this is going to work. If you want to get into the castle and get Mouse back as badly as I do, and you need me to do that, then you also need Veo, you also need Pluto. You've agreed not to hurt them. If any harm comes to them, I will murder you. I won't hesitate. They are my best friends. They are the most mm. important people in the world to me. You used to hold that title, but it's obvious that you've changed. So, you will be under our supervision. At no point will you leave our sight. We may even have to bind you or something to keep you secure. There's no running away. There's no getting your queen's men to come in and assassinate us during the night. Keeping you around is a liability because I don't know if I can trust you. So we're going to have to figure out something. And You don't have to keep me around if you don't want to. I can offer you another deal. I'm listening. Open that door. She points to the treasury door. Keeping my eyes on her, I move to the door and I actually, I'm going to mage hand Mm -hmm. and open it up while still looking at her. Inside the room are several chests, similar to the ones that you saw in the previous room, but there's also a table upon which is laying the Lord Commander's seal, the steward's badge, the box, the High Flame Keeper's amulet, and... Uh, I gotta remember what I called these things. Um, and the Guildmaster's seal and the Castellan's seal. We have everything we need. If we're going to the castle, I get to hang on to those. Fine. Fine. Are they okay to touch? Or is this another trap? They're okay to touch. Using my mage hand, I grab each one and place it in my bag of holding. Including, you said the bomb was there too? The box is there. Yeah. Now what? Take a seat. She gestures back to the throne. I sit down. Hey guys, come back! As you search around the room, there is a crashing noise as all the dust in the room collects back together, reforming a skeleton upon which a bunch of flesh appears on. (laughs) (laughs) You guys are alive? (laughs) How? You're alive? (laughs) I deep inhale. (laughs) My ear fell off. I deeply inhale. Before you hug me, I'm just like, are you alive? Mostly. (laughs) Sorry, your ear fell off. I (laughs) breathed in some of you. I like pat your face, just making sure. I'm like, what? 
<laughs> and I break out into tears. Don't you ever <laughs> skeleton teleport again? I saw you guys get blasted into skeletons. <laughs> what? You were a skeleton. You were a skeleton. You were definitely There's a two skeleton. of us and one of you. You're a skeleton. You were both skeletons. And I tried to grab one of you and you turned into dust. I... And it's actually at this moment we're all too we're all rejoicing that I I look around the room to see if there's anybody else there. There's no one else in the room. We were just, just these two. Where did you go? What? Explain this. You're I, our magic guy. We've been yeah, trying to figure the, this you're out. You're the magic explainy guy. I, I open up my bag of holding and I look inside. Is everything still there? Got some explaining to do. Guys, um... I don't get what's going on right now, but... Something tells me it's not over with the Queen of Thieves. Well, yeah, of course. She's been running away from us. No. I found her. And? Wait, what? She's here. She's just in a different here. I don't... Magic. There's. Yeah. Um. I don't know what her play is, but she told me that we all needed to get into the castle and she could get Mouse back. I told her that the only way that I would allow that is if she was under our supervision. She then opened a door and showed me all of the badges. The box and the key I took them and put them in my bag of holding and now here I am But so she's not under our supervision because she's not here and I don't really know what's going on but she sent me off with all of the stuff so you have it in the bag I, can I and see I, it? I go to your bag of holding and I I pull the items out go through. just so that we can like check them I take the two. I mean, two of them you've never seen before, um, which are the the guildmaster's seal and the castellan's seal. But the ones that we have seen before, they all like. Yeah, yeah. I... Okay, I'm gonna let's break this chair. <laughs> this is a deadly. This shouldn't be just out. <laughs> this shouldn't know. just be around for people to fault. sit in. Um. Can I see my father's badge? And I look at it, and I just like rub my hand over top of it, and I take a big sigh, and I hand it back to you. Hold on to it. I can't hold on to this one. I need not even for safekeeping. I need my badge, and I would like the Lord Commander's badge, and I affix it to myself. Nice. I will uh, get you the properties of the Lord Commander's badge. Cool. So we got what we came here for. Um, I hope you guys understand that, I mean, in the circumstances, first of all, I didn't want to fight her alone. (laughs) Second of all, she offered me all of these things and just said we need to get into the castle. I told her that she couldn't take the throne. She said she was going to, and I said, no, you're not, and we argued about that for a while. Um, I told her that if she harms either of you, that I will murder her. Uh, She said she promised me that you guys were all right and that she wouldn't try to kill you. But I don't know where she is or what her play is, but she said that she is going to the castle with us. We have all the badges now, so I don't... Are one of you the Queen of Thieves? (laughs) I don't think so. I don't even know anymore, man. Does the Queen of Thieves... Look, I don't care what happened. What was your... What was your former, um, your former navigator's name? Um, Rat food. Okay, but right. she might know that. Oh. Me, do me, ask me. Your birthmark. <laughs> Here. You got it. And I point to where it is. Well, you haven't sold me. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, I just. I mean, what's your wife's name? Actually, I don't even know that. Now I'm just trying to fish for answers. Anyway. I have to look it up. <laughs> um, That's not important right now. 
there's there's something happening Stop here. Stop asking silly questions. The Queen of Thieves is on to us. Not only that, okay, we have what we came here for. She did make a very valid point, and I need to apologize to you guys. I have spent the last several months promising myself that I would not do any more things that caused horrible incidents. And meanwhile, I hold myself mostly responsible for the... Uh, Rattlings that are coming up through the the sewers now, and uh, why? Yeah, we kind of. W- I'm really that proud was a group of that. Decision. Like, we really did work on that. <laughs> I mean, you guys contributed, but that was my lead. I, 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 I'm, I can be a little persuasive or deceptive or intimidating, <laughs> depending on <laughs> the role necessary. Um, I, hey, hey, I started that lie, and I. I'm the one who told us not to kill the rat prince. I'm the one who, who who convinced us that we could use him as a weapon. And here I am. I'm still I'm still causing incidents. I'm still causing problems. I'm still not a hero. I'm still just Sebastian Crow. Sebastian, we did it together. Well, we have to end it. Together. Sebastian, do you ever think that causing incidents is actually a strength? Yeah, no. Because it is. How? Well, you know, things that are meant to be are meant to be, you know? And by you causing these incidents, it just leads to a chain reaction of good friends meeting each other, you know, finding the truths of people, their true selves. That's how we've gotten to this place. Yeah, our friendship's not going to mean anything if we're all eaten by rats. Mm. I mean, it will still mean something. It will still mean something in the greater cosmos. But we we have a rat problem. Yeah. I don't have a lot of knowledge about magic. But I can tell you that we wouldn't be here right now if we didn't do everything that we did to get here. All of us. For good or for bad. We're here now. We're going to deal with it. She said to me that there's no stopping the rats now, and I need I need to prove her wrong. And she said we would also never get all the badges, and yet, here we are. She we handed them to us. I know, so she doesn't know what's going to happen. Stop listening to these other people. <laughs> Listen to you. Or at least Veo and sometimes me. <laughs> yeah. Stop questioning yourself. You literally are holding the staff of power right now. With that, you guys have a bunch of items that bear the symbols of the city. She's in your head. Is that where she is? And you got Are you the queen of things? And I need you. I don't know that you're you. To trust yourself. I, I will also <laughs> mention, uh, because she did hit you with dispel magic, the telepathic bond between these two is still in effect, but you've been disconnected. Oh. Yeah, guys, I don't have telepathic bond anymore. Can you uh, send out to everybody on the channel and let them know that we've acquired the badges? Can the we do Queen it in of here? Thieves is still at large. In here? I wasn't sure if we could do it here because of the private sanctum. All right, well, we have some potions. Do you guys want to get out of here? Because I, I'm, I think we've overstayed our welcome. I two hand Ignatius and I still yell it. <laughs> and I just bring it down on this stupid chair. <laughs> There is a clang as Ignatius cleaves deeply into the, uh, uh, like, cleaves into the stone, but it is made of stone, so the blade deflects off of it. Oh. And had you hit this stone with a non magical blade, the blade probably would have broken. <laughs> <laughs> I use my masonry tools and start to chip away at. <laughs> okay. I, I pull and you I, I'm I just, pull you And back. I'm angrily attacking it with, like, a, a small file and pickaxe thing. As you, as I'm pulled into the other, you you did it, you did it, you you killed you killed the throne, you did it, it's gone. Hold me back, it's done. Hold me back, it's done, it's done. Drink your potion. Let's leave. Listen, these are gonna. This oh. is gonna cause. <laughs> I'm hello. <laughs> hello. This is gonna cause more nightmares than like the one I had about like a giant thing of cheese chasing me, and that was pretty scary. Drink your potion. It's time for Gas Bastion to leave. Okay. I drank my potion. <laughs> You, my voice you really become bad. three farts again. <laughs> this is my voice when uh, I'm. <laughs> um, when I'm, I'm a burp. Yeah, 
It's it's worth noting that that because the telepathic bond is I'm gone, Sebastian can't communicate with you guys as gas. But um, <laughs> oh darn! I'm just talking to myself. Do we go back so, up the tube? Which way are you guys gonna go? Uh, I go back up the tube. Up, up the, tube. the tube. Okay, you head back up at the tube, and you're now in the Queen of Thieves' office. I, I say, let's we keep going. Uh, yeah, Gaseous form all the way out. Yeah. I keep floating until there's like. Wasn't there like a? Can we go back to the passage into the underground? Into the under to where the under tavern was, or where did you want to go? Um, we could go at that little hole that you found, like the first time we were in here, and then try to go up through like. Uh, you saw light, right? Yeah. In the caverns, could we go there? That's I know it's off the beaten path, but we can go there. I mean, we're gonna go back through the rats, but but we're gas. We have a... Actually, I can't talk to you right now. I have a plan. Uh, question. Do you think Sebastian is coming up with a plan, or do you think we should just... (laughs) 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 Uh, As gas, can you, you, like, shape yourself into, like, a (laughs) hand that's like a stop hand? Or one... No, um, can you form yourself into a pork chop? you, You can follow each other. Basically, you're kind of like you, you, there's enough that you can kind of perceive where each other are. Okay, uh, I'm following Sebastian. I say, well, I'm gonna go a little bit ahead of Sebastian, and I'm gonna like point in directions to be like this way. Make that the way. arrow. Yeah, make you arrow. can make yourself into an arrow. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm like, eh, eh. And then a question mark. <laughs> and then I just end up floating past you and going okay. in a general direction. So which he way are you guys gonna go? Going. Uh, we're gonna head down into the caverns. Uh, through that that hole that we found the first time we were here. Okay, so you you want to go all the way back to the prisons mm-hmm. and back down into the caverns, and then through. Uh, wait, you you mean the caverns that you located when you were in the prison when we were ch- yeah captured? Yeah, is that far from here? Um. You would so when you head out from the Queen of Thieves' office back to where she had her art gallery, mm-hmm. you're in this intersection that you can either go to the tavern where there was a staircase that everyone was fleeing up, and then there was the spiral staircase where Blackjack Mel was as well. And that went down to the fighting pits. That went down to the fighting pits, which the, then go down to the prison again. And the yep. cells were near the fighting pits. We also yep. haven't seen Big Linda. So I'm not too concerned about Big um, Linda. Do you guys want to go down to the fighting pits and just check it like scope it out as we leave that's impossible we could also like remember her chambers that she was going to lead us into mm-hmm. we could go there like when we first got in and we first encountered her there was rooms that we never checked because we had to chase her yeah but is this a looting opportunity or is this a get out while we still can opportunity oh it's definitely like a, 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 that's what i don't know yeah but what do you want to do you want to go down to the caverns i mean i'm mm-hmm. i'm just either way i'm I'm a little frazzled right now. I'm not the best. I I have a plan, but I don't want to say it until I'm out of gas form. I'm still pointing in directions, being like, yes, yes. I, I, I like, turn mine towards Pluto, my gas form. How can I tell? <laughs> Goes <laughs> to shift. There's sure. a face. I'm like, I don't know where his face is. Um, I, yeah, I'm following you. You can't use your telepathy thing. In I go form. downstairs. No, I start you're going to go down the spiral stairs? Yeah. Okay. So you head down to the fighting pits. As you pass by as gas, um, there are a few rem- stragglers that, from amongst the Queen's men, that run up the stairs, um, but they seem so panicked that they just ignore you. And as you head down the stairs, you can hear the sounds of chittering rats and screaming battle, and you hear this large... Uh, bestial roar that echoes through the halls that sounds like Big Linda. Yes. As I get to the bottom of the stairs, do I, can I see the fighting pits from here? Is it- You'd have to go around a couple corners, but yeah, you could get to where the where the arena is. I'm going to un gaseous form. Okay, Sebastian becomes a person again. 
Guys, I need to talk. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I ungash this for him. Okay. We have one left, though, right? We have one left. Yeah. We have a bomb. Yeah. The rats are all infiltrating this area right here. This, the queen's lair. Are they? Because I heard there are some back at, the, at my place. There's a lot. They're everywhere. I'm going to stay a fart. <laughs> for now. But... <laughs> I can translate. But is is it possible? We told the Rat Prince that once we had dealt with the Queen of Thieves, they agreed to getting all of the Ratlings together at Oscar's house. I I don't know if they're still going to do that. But I mean, we got to get as many of them together as possible, I think, and blow, blow up somewhere. That's my plan, is we use this bomb and we blow up the ratlings. Okay. Why don't we just, uh... I say to Veo, why don't we just, uh... Let me just turn on the bomb and throw it down the pit. I think we need to get them. We need to get more of them together. There's not enough of them here, I think. They're scattered throughout the city, and I think it's just going to remain a problem if, if we can't get them more concentrated in one area. Well, what can we lure rats with? Can you ask River about the, the pipes? She mentioned. River! Oh, yeah. Hey, it's been a while. Is everything going okay? Yeah, well. we're... <laughs> are you, were you able to escape the barracks? <sighs> it's bad. We couldn't go through the city. There's ratlings everywhere so us and the rest we've we fled the city and we're making camp out by the old Eckerman mill <sighs> are are the Caspians for the most part safe is the queen safe we've we were able to bring a litter and a cart and a carriage for Queen Lenore and for the Caspians as, as well so we're making a camp but as we it's strange as we started to leave the city Lenore's been having fainting spells she needs more of the, the serum the delirium I don't even think we have time to worry about that right now we no she's had her we've been making more for her she's been thinking nonetheless. It's almost like she can't breathe. She might need to live in the haze forever. (sighs) But we have a a more pressing issue. We need to deal with these rattlings. We have the let her know that we got the... We've achieved... We've successfully got all the badges. And? And did you kill the Queen of Thieves? Well... She escaped but she has given us some kind of like a lifeline she's a she willingly handed over the badges and the bomb and the trigger yeah we don't really know what her game is we're we're optimistic yet concerned can you ask her for where she thinks the best place to set off a bomb and blow up did she set houses? this whole thing up with these ratlings is Probably. she responsible for this? Would it's, not surprise me. Yeah, it's classic river. Uh, <laughs> I mean, queen. a classic queen river. You, you hear me. Ah, my lies. <laughs> my lies are getting out of control. Um, but we have, I have to ask you about the, you mentioned that there was an instrument of, of old that could control the ratlings. Can you tell me anything else about it? Can you tell us about it? We would need to check the archives at the academy itself. Right now, there's not much that I can tell you. But I can try to piece something together that we can go on. In the meantime, though, I've sent a message to the other mages that are at the academy tower. It seems that the place is secure for now, but we have no way in or out now except for the teleportation matrix, which is not stable. 
everyone that's there is trapped there unless we can fight our way through the city again. We may have to go. Damn the queen and those rattlings. Uh, plan B would be we do the but biggest you, lie. You have all the seals of the city. We should let the lieutenant commander and the others know because if we have those we have something at least there's not going to be a city to save if we can't get rid of these rats we could potentially use the defenses of the city now we can get into the castle plan C is this enough badges to control the uh, executioner are we missing? What badges are we missing? Do we not have all of them? We have the, the, the Staff of Power. We have the Circlet. We have two of the badges. We have the badge of the Lord Commander and the badge of the Steward. Steward. We also have the High Flame Keeper's badge. You have seven. Se- of seven. Seven of seven. We have, we have all, all of them. them. Yes. So, so we can, should be. We can control the Executioner. Conceivably, yes. And the walls. Conceivably, yes. If we get to the throne. Yes. Maybe that will be enough. And then we can kill the ratlings with the defenses of the city. Perhaps we can. Well, the city engulf itself, though. They're here. Are we essentially bringing down Drakenheim upon itself? Well, maybe it's a way to contain this plague. Maybe that's the best we can do isn't to save Drakenheim but save the rest of the world. The Rattlings seemed pretty intent on expanding their feeding area. Yeah. Guys, we need... We might need... We, we have to end. We have to end this. I really want to use that bomb. I, I, oh, I think Veo mentioned that there could be repercussions though these rattlings seem to draw on the power of the of the haze can you ask river about that if 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 the rattlings feed on delirium will yeah. the bomb kill them or will it it's still an explosion though correct me if like I'm that's wrong. the concern the initial blast deposits quite a lot of energy into the immediate area and then it leaves behind haze. So, yes, it would destroy a large number of ratlings, but the effects of it, long term, the ratlings seem to be unfazed by it. So really, it's just, it's not per se the delirium afterwards that I think we might have to save the bomb for, for the upcoming war, potentially. So then, if we can get to the throne, we may be able to take over the defenses of the city? I mean, potentially. It's our best bet right now. Is that our best play? River, I need you to somehow get in touch with anyone at the academy to get any information I can on that musical instrument that could control Mm -hmm. the rattlings. We're going to make for Castle Castle Dragon. Dragon. Please stay safe. Are you okay, though? Should you want to meet us back at Eckerman Mill to regroup so that we can at least plan our next steps? I don't think we have the... I don't think we can make it there. We're, we're like, in the spokes. And you're at Eckerman Mill. We would have to round the city. Yeah, going through the city right now is a death trap, so not only would... We, we'd have to go around the I entire... I guess we could go around the city and then... I mean, are the rats really going to hurt us right now? They might. I don't know. I think I'm, I'm nervous about lying my way through a city of rats. <laughs> All right, but maybe we do it as gas. We have one potion left. We can fly. We can fly somehow. I think. Yeah. I mean, I don't think we have supplies. We have resources, and not to mention. You need seven different people to use the badges. Oh, well, 
I think it might be best that we go there. We need Not only people. We need people, and I know just the people. We need people we can trust. Where's Blackjack Mel? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, is Technically, from what we know, you actually need eight. What? You need seven counselors and a monarch. <gasps> is your... Is your nephew here yet? Yeah. Is, is he here? uh If we want to use this whole power of the city then that only answers to the monarch themselves with the power of the council. We need your nephew. Maybe... Or Lenore. Or the Queen of Thieves. Maybe I could sit on the throne and give up my badge. Well, I'll have the Staff of Power. You have the Lord Commander. Yes. Jupiter, River, Ansem... Jupiter, River, Ansem, the three of us. Petra? No, I'll leave Petra. We'll need a, hi- we'll need a flame keeper. Where are we going to get one of those? I say to one of you <laughs> two, somehow hearing. Hey, I mean, we haven't totally burned bridges with Lucretia Mathias yet. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> oh my god. Um, Do we have to... Talk to Lurk- oh my go- oh my gosh. Well, it's either that or we try to go back to the paladins, but I doubt they're very happy with us right well, now. Well, I think we could probably convince the paladins faster than we could the Christian Matthias. Probably. Why don't we escape while well, we still can? We go to Eckerman Mill. Yeah. We regroup. We pick our team. We put together a team. We gear up for what very well could be the last. Uh, the last hall for reclaiming Drakenheim, the home stretch, the end game. Where were the paladins last seen? At their camp. And where was that? Camped on outside the city, uh, along along uh, Temple Road. Because we could go there first on our, on our way, way towards Eckerman Mill. I don't know if Because isn't it in the southwest? Uh, yeah, it, it, the the camp is to the southwest. Yeah, uh, they're not going to like me much if any news has gotten back. I'm not gonna like I Pluto killed much either. Theodore Marshall. I killed the rest of them. <laughs> like we're not. I. We're not doing. Veo great. watched. <laughs> Veo shot a Griffin. I'm proud of you. I did a thing. So you want to? What do you? Because if we can, would you rather try to talk to the the paladins than talk to Lucretia Matthias? I don't even know. I don't know. I, I mean, don't. it's. I think it's the lesser of two evils. Yeah. True. I don't totally trust the creature. They're not... Why would they agree to reclaim Drakenheim? Uh, Are you sure you haven't burned a bridge of paladins yet? Uh, I mean... <laughs> we burned a court of paladins. <laughs> <laughs> we um, burned one uh, courtyard full of paladins. Yeah. The problem with the paladins is they want to burn the city. And you know what? They have every reason to demand that now that it's running. Do we actually need... A, a flame keeper, or could we appoint someone as flame keeper? Like all right, you you need in order to enact the power of the badges. You need someone. Uh, each person needs to be attuned to the badge, and they therefore they must meet the requirements in order to attune to them. Most of the badges don't have any specific retu- attunement requirements. The only exceptions to this are the staff of power, which you must be a spellcaster. Uh, well, specifically, you have to be a sorcerer, warlock, or wizard, and the high flame keeper's um, amulet. In which case, you have to be able to be a divine spellcaster, such as a cleric or paladin, in order to attune to it. So the question is: Do we try to unburn the bridge of the paladins, or do we go straight to Lucretia? What was Lucretia's deal? She wanted to. She wants a delirium. Jam. Delirium powers. crystals in everyone's heart. Well, we can't promise that to her. We already promised it to the Amethyst Academy. But she loses if the Ratlings destroy everything she built. So the enemy of our enemy. The Ratlings are the main enemy. Oh, yeah. man. Lucretia Matthias. <laughs> We're going to look. <laughs> Lucretia Matthias does not want the entire meteor to get eaten by Ratlings who turn into super Ratlings. And just and eat her, and yeah. we can tell her about how great we are. How we killed a bunch of paladins. Maybe she'll like that. 
Well, maybe. I don't know if we want to use that as a brag. I mean, that's, talking that's point. usually my opening it's statement a brag. when I meet people now. Hey, I killed people you don't like. Will you be my friend? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we go to Ackerman Mill. Maybe we send to Luc- Lucretia Matthias. A letter? Well, we use the sending spell. A magical letter? Wait. Yeah. What if we approach her as... Uh, if? Do you still have semen? I do. We uh, pretend like we have the things in our chests. I don't know about that. We tried then, that before and it didn't work. Well, we did it without <laughs> without good magic. Now we have great magic. Uh, Pluto, my lies have gotten me in so much trouble. No, but like, like, Pluto, Ignatius is not... Uh, Ignatius gave up one. on us and it's probably oh, because I we lie. So oh. We lie and we murder paladins. Um, I say we just... I think that we have we, we, we have a card here though. Like she doesn't want Drakenheim to fall to the rats. She wants Drakenheim. Can always chat with her and see. Let's just see what happens. What's the worst that could happen? There it is. Uh, there it is. Um okay, let's get back to the Ackerman Mill and we'll f- figure it out from there and we'll maybe ask some of our own council's opinions on it. Well now that we're in the basement surrounded by ratlings and uh looks like maybe a giant monster. Um well, yeah, why did we end gas? I didn't. <laughs> so that I could tell you guys that I wanted to blow so up. So this whole time, Sebastian's been saying things, and Veo has has to relay what <laughs> everything that exactly. Felino says back. Yeah, I feel like a walkie-talkie here. I mean, what is that? <laughs> okay, um, I say that we break through the secret tunnels and try to get out of the initial area because the initial area is flooded with queensmen, ratlings. I we just need to like ha- we called off all of our troops on the surface, yeah. right? But yeah. there's they've ratlings re- they've retreated all over the streets now. Yeah. So the ratlings seem to be moving to the surface. So I think our best bet is to actually go underground because they're all coming up. Okay. So we go the opposite way and hopefully maybe they didn't find that secret tunnel. That's my only play. If we go on, if we run into them, we can still play the card of yeah. We have to go. Pork chops. How far <laughs> under the surface are we? Best guess, couple hundred feet, maybe it's possible. I'm but sure. but you don't have a clear sense of how deep underground you are because you came up from, like you came through all the tunnels initially. Yeah. But you're you're definitely, like uh, initially you came up from probably about 200 feet or so underground mm. so you could be as, as much as any anywhere from 100 feet to 50 feet underground right now oh well less than 500 though oh well, i say we're closest oh 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 i can't go that far I know you, you can't, yeah. let's go for uh i'm just saying if one of us turns into a skeleton again i don't want to I, know, I, don't. I don't want either of you to. That was that was horrifying. That was scary. And yet, I wasn't frightened. <laughs> <laughs> so how will you proceed? I say we just make a break for that tunnel. Sure. Let's do it. Okay. You guys have any other ideas? I'll follow you. Let's do it. Plan, Master. All right. Sebastian, glad you're not a skeleton. Yeah. I'm glad you're not a skeleton. We screamed for like a good 20 minutes. Yeah, it was solid. It was we were all probably panic. probably like screaming at the same time. Was I like, I sat in the throne and turned into a skeleton. <laughs> and we had yeah. no And I sat in the throne and you guys just went <laughs> into skeleton. We didn't know what to do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We Although, literally didn't even know. We're just like, we don't have any plans without you. <laughs> Veo was just, Veo was just crying, putting magic in the air. She didn't know. <laughs> Yes, you guys usually need somebody of uh, intelligence on these sort of missions. <laughs> yeah. Well, as you make your way further down the spiral staircase, back toward, back past the arena to the sounds of the... Uh, uh, by the end of this conversation, the roars have stopped. <gasps> That's not good. Um, it's okay. And the sounds of the battle that was in whatever was coming through through the area have diminished but you can still hear the the chittering of, of rattlings um and as you take your way down the stairs to the queen of thieves prison this area now looks like it's been completely abandoned um there is no sense of 
anyone having been left behind down here. Anyone that has, has long since tried to get away. You head back down to the, the intersection where the prison was. So you're at this intersection that uh, would have led back up to where you first met with the Queen of Thieves, back over to the cell block, or then down this broken tunnel, or then over to this cistern that leads to the sewers. It was the broken tunnel we were looking for, right? Yeah. Are broken. you still gas? Yep. <laughs> Mm-hmm. You're falling behind. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really slow. Yep. <laughs> okay. And you're going to take the broken tunnels through? Yeah. Those are the ones that, like, we've... The secret tunnels that we kind of yeah. found that were caved in. Yep. I can use mold earth to come to, back. To clear them away. All right. You head into the tunnels and into the darkness. And I think there is where we'll take our break. And we are back from our break. But before we get started, I want to give a big shout out to Tabletop Audio for all our ambient music. We've been using it since session one, and it's free, and it's on tabletopaudio.com. Uh, check it out for your own uh, Dungeons & Dragons adventures. Of course, don't forget to take a look at the links below for our Teespring store, where you can pick up some of your favorite Dungeon Dudes t-shirts, or you can check out the link bit.ly slash Dungeon Dudes merch. And if you're enjoying the stream and you'd want to help support our work, you can check us out on Patreon. You can find that by following the links below or at patreon.com slash dungeon underscore dudes. We also have a phenomenal Discord community that is exclusive for our patrons. So you can join us on Discord and chat with us about all things nerdy, all things D&D, about all the episodes that we're releasing, all things Drakenheim, even a private channel where you can talk to Monty about what's going on behind the screen. So join us. Behind the screen. Screen. Yeah, the screen. (laughs) With that, let's return to the ruins. Our heroes now have ventured back deep into where they first actually were involved with the Queen of Thieves. Past the room where you first encountered her in the flesh, so to speak. Heading, clearing away the debris at the end of this disused passage reveals a roughly hewn and ancient set of caverns that wind deep into the earth. They continue for several hundred feet. Um, And as you head down them, once in a while, a squeaking rat scurries past your feet then two scurry past your feet as if they're heading towards where you're coming from and then several dozen of them (laughs) that escalated quickly (laughs) and they just pass by you merrily on their way well they're not eating us are they small? It's a bonus. No, they're large. <laughs> they're they're big, and some of them have glowing purple eyes and bits of delirium growing out their backs. Like like, are we talking like Chihuahua sized? Or? We're we're talking like small dog sized. Yeah, like a rat. Like a though. Beagle. Like yeah, it's supposed to be a rat though. Yeah, one one that is maybe about the size of a house cat scurries by, and. It's walking on its hind legs. That's not good. And it's kind of <laughs> that's scurrying forward like oh. that. As you I'm concerned get further, eventually the cavern opens into a larger chamber where the, where um, where a pool of collecting water can be seen. As you approach the room, there are more rats continuing forward, and you can hear echoing down the hallways those growling noises, and what you think s- sounds like a lashing whip. That way? Is it's coming the way that we're going? It's coming down. Mm-hmm. Uh, Guys, hide. 
I'm I'm per- Pluto for him at probably around this time anyways. Okay. Like I probably switched back a little bit while we were walking. Just a little bit? Like cuz I <laughs> you you, mo- you mentioned that I was very slow and I was just I'm already slow so I didn't want to keep being slower. So I was like, okay. I switched back like probably like 10 minutes ago. Okay. Um uh, is, I, what the, where's the light coming from? There is none. Oh, okay. oh great. I look at Pluto and I'm like, we need to hide. I lay down on the. <laughs> I <laughs> rats continue to crawl over. <laughs> oh great! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, ra- I'm you lay really down. quiet. You're like, okay, I'll hide, and you lay down, and rats just cover you, and I'm like, well, <laughs> it's working. <laughs> can't see. Except I hear you like <laughs> <laughs> the panic. Um, I'm gonna use just where we are I'm just going to use two sorcery points and cast darkness okay. so that we kind of just disappear into that darkness and I grab Pluto by the arm to make sure that he doesn't get lost and okay. I grab Zeo by the tail <laughs> if there's no light then unless they have magical seeing they can't see me true so do you want to just be outside my darkness Yeah. okay I'll okay. just hold Pluto and in the darkness I'll stand behind your darkness. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you... The cavern opens up into this small cavernous cave. There's a pool of water and you can see in the water that this pool is, is collecting water that is draining down into this like it's a it's an underground ground aquifer and it is draining out through just over the lips of the water at the edge of the cave you can see that there looks like to be the tops of an underground passage that is almost completely flooded where the water is draining out across from you is a continuation of the of this cavernous passage that's quite wide, much wider than the passage that you came down. And though there is stone and earthwork underneath here, this passageway looks like it has been borne out recently. And the rats are flowing out from there. Maybe we just need to wait for them to pass. What? As you wait, you can hear the crack of the whip again and these large thumping footsteps. What well, sounds like the rattling of chains. You keep your mouth shut, Pluto Jackson. Do you guys want to go ahead? I say we. Okay, we need to whisper. You don't need to whisper that much. <laughs> Let uh, people hear you. <laughs> um, uh, I, I, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to... Can I talk? I, Veo can tell me stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we're whispering. <laughs> um, I say that we skirt. We just skirt along the wall. Do you want to pass without trace? I mean, if it helps. Yeah. I would like to pass without a trace <laughs> if we can. Uh, I cast pass without trace. Okay. And we're like up against the wall. I'm, I guess Veo is going ahead of the darkness. Yeah, I can okay. do that. Because you can't see through my darkness. No, no. So you're ahead of the darkness. I'm following behind you at a safe distance. Oh, guys, I'm just going to be so loud. I'm, I'm holding. Do you want to get in my bag? I get in your bag. Can he fit? Like, can he'll poke part of his body out, but can he stand uh, in the bag? How much is in the bag already? Because Pluto's like 300 pounds. Already. Excuse you? I have a bunch of potions, books. Well, once schools. you got your armor <laughs> and everything. Alchemist supplies? bed rolls. <laughs> I'm going to say probably Paluto with all of his gear is more is going to f- like you'd have to empty your bag quite extensively with all the gold that you've thrown in there as well. <laughs> D&D Beyond says that I'm carrying 130 pounds. Yeah. yeah. That doesn't account for you. Yeah. Oh. And so Pluto Jackson Pluto Jackson like let's let's not mince words. Pluto Jackson's got to weigh what? Like at least 225? Yeah. He's a yeah. 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 All you <laughs> Anyone listening? Yeah. But also, darn it. <laughs> so before you... It's okay. 
There, there's this rocky outcropping that you're kind of hiding behind by the cavernous pool as this stream of rats kind of move past you completely unperturbed. And some of them stumble around in the darkness, but others just continue forward following the rat in front of them. And it's at this moment that you see coming up from the cavern along with the stream of rats with chains dangling behind it is this massive almost 13 foot tall ratling but it would be more accurate to call it a rat hulk of anything as the as this appears to be a ratling that has undergone a similar transformation to that of big nose mm. it has spines jutting out from it. it it has sharp barbs jutting out from its spine um these vestigial limbs growing out from underneath one of its other massive arms both one of which is clearly longer than the other kind of limps forward it looks like as it, as it comes forward it looks like the ratlings have cut off its arm and replaced the front of its arm with an oversized pick and it's dragging it forward almost as to use it as a tunneling tool and it has chains attached around it and as it comes forward another one steps forward behind them is a very small rattling holding on to the chains and cracking the whip on the two of them and, and holding the chains a spear and a whip do we recognize this rattling? never seen this rattling before anonymous rattling I see, I see the, the rattling is wearing a big bucket helmet. I say we just get out of here. Like, keep going. This group of people is moving directly towards you. I uh, slink into your darkness, mm. and I, like, put my hand out to, like, make sure I feel yeah, anchored. I grab both of their hands, and I push myself as far up against the cavern wall as I can, and, like, stand there perfectly still. Okay. I want to cast Detect thoughts on the little rattling. Okay. The three of you can make a stealth check. It's plus 10 for Pass Without Trace. Plus 10. And because we're in the darkness, do we have advantage? They have disadvantage on their perception checks okay. to see you. Thirty-six. Okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Twenty-six. Fifteen. Okay. <laughs> um... As you hide up against the wall, the ratlings continue forward. The swarms of rats and the larger rat. The, um... As you cast tech thoughts from the... From the tiara. The, the tiara. Circle it. I know, the, but I... The ratling leading them uh, says, um is thinking in its mind yes 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 kill and eat many many humans my brothers do so well they they got they grow so big they grow up so fast i so proud of them maybe i be next <laughs> is it it's not the rat prince is it no okay no. but similar features it uh, is a rat no. yeah um but as he comes forward he stops and says in his mind that that light and he's thinking this he's like you, you can see him kind of like cock his vision towards where Sebastian's darkness is and he's like Veo they see the darkness what wrong with shadows in his mind Veo they, they're he's he's uh, he's gonna come this way I say it in my mind I don't tell Sebastian, just because I'm worried if I whisper and tell Veo. And I... Uh, uh, I cast Suggestion. To do and what? I, and I go... You want to turn around and go the other way. Down the hallway. Because there's humans down there. The rattling gets a 12. 
It's do, 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 do. Uh, 13. <laughs> the rattling thinks. Humans not this way. <laughs> Pulls on the chains on the two big rat uh, the two big rat hulks and they turn around and one of them says to them, something wrong with shadows. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and the little rattling says it's speaking shadow speaking words tell you go other way and the rattling said or no because it, it wouldn't because the 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 suggestion is telepathically sent correct with the, the uh, magic yeah, 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 yeah it's yeah. telepathically sent as long as he has an intelligence over three yep he does um so the big rattlings are humans other way and he and the other rattling says Yes, yes, yes. Humans, other way. I know this. Rat God, speak to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, and they, the stream of, uh, uh, of, um, and then the the other rattling, the rattling says to the the smaller rat says, "Come, children. Yes, yes, yes. We go back other way." And the rat, the uh, the swarm of all the regular rats turn around and they go back up the tunnel that they came. Oh. Nice. Clunk, 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 clunk. Do we follow them? In my head, I'm like, you do good magic, Pluto. I don't know what I did. I think I can talk to rats. I can talk to rats. So are we, and then, I mean, I again. It's not can. impressive, it's not. Uh, not anymore. See, they all talk. Are we following them? I guess so. We can try to find our way out of here. Yeah. That was the only way out, right? That was the <sighs> continuation of the tunnel? The, the tunnel... Well, looking around now, the way that the rattlings were coming from looks like a newly born tunnel. He, in this chamber itself, there is another passage leading out, but it is almost completely flooded with water. I knew I should have taken... <laughs> I had every opportunity to take water breathing as a ritual. But I didn't. It's okay. Okay. We don't mind getting a little wet. I said, there's not that much water in Jackenheim, and this will never come up. Do we try the new pathway? See where it leads us? I mean, that's just where we sent all the rats. So Maybe. it's either we follow the rats or we go for a swim. Which one sounds I'm less gonna. Mm. I think dangerous? I should wait here. And Sebastian, you can probably wait with me. And maybe we, Veo, you can track them. Is there... To like, see if they're... Is there a bit of the passage sticking out above water? Maybe eight inches to a foot tops. Otherwise, it's all submerged. Yep. How deep it is, it's difficult to tell. This this underground, like, it's probably at least three or four feet deep at this point. I want to drop my drift globe into the water. And I want to send Crowley to duck. By duck, I mean, like, turn like, <laughs> sit on the surface of the water and just drift. Mm -hmm. He ducks. Drift down? Like, like a yeah. duck. Yeah, like a duck. Okay, duck style. <laughs> um, so Crowley flo floats down. And you can like float around by, by um, the water with him, with so that he can and see. And following Crowley at least a hundred feet back, there's enough space for Crowley to float on the surface of the water about a hundred feet back. But the water itself is about five feet deep. So this is like up to your neck. Swim pool. Yeah, yeah. Um, as he floats down, like, does it just continue for at least a hundred feet? Yes. Your call. Water or f or the tunnel. Because maybe call. the tunnel takes us to where the rats are coming from. Maybe we can kill a bunch of them. Navigator. I'm curious to see what's down the new path, but if it's just getting out of here, then we can take the water. We have to get to... I think our goal right now is to get to Ackerman Mill. Okay. I see we take the water. All right. It's time to get wet. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. least Ugh. favorite thing to do. You trudge down the watery path for at least half an hour before you see light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> and the path exits a few, maybe a mile outside the city um, along the Dran River. Are we in the Dran River? Yeah. 
Isn't this water supposed to be like really gross? <laughs> yeah. Oh, gross. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately try to climb. Yeah. Up. So you're you're probably about a mile poison? south of the city, <laughs> on a, a, along a, a rocky cave where the where the water flows out into the into the Drown River. Well, it's good to know that that's there. Now we know way back into the Queen of Thieves' lair any time. Yeah. I don't know if she'll be using it as her layer for a very long while. Yeah, it's kind of overrun. Everything's wet. All right. Everything. Um, from here, can we like climb to the cer- like the? Oh edge? yeah, like, um, it, it, there's a fair layer of algae and moss, um, and from the riverside, if you didn't know that this was here, like there's there's no farmhouses, there's no roads, anything. Like if you did not know this was here, the chances of finding it again are are very low low right um but it is along the river um and yeah it it just emerges uh, along this kind of escarpment that's along the side of the river all right uh we're heading to ackerman mill Mm -hmm. i have an idea to get us there pretty quick Hmm. uh i could turn into a giant eagle and you guys could climb on my back i mean i mean Uh, i'm not gonna say no i haven't tried this one before flying is fun but and if I fall off you, I'll just feather fall to the ground. That way we get to avoid any rattlings around the outskirts of the city. Mm-hmm. We get to avoid the city in general. Uh, the downside would be the paladin camp and anybody else looking up might see a giant eagle flying. Through yeah, No, you could turn into a giant eagle and definitely carry both of them. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going to use polymorph. And again, I... So I stick my arms out and shadows start to wrap around them and then look like wings and then cool. I fall forward and turn into a shadowy eagle. I mount you. Shotgun. <laughs> cool. <laughs> you fly off on Sebastian's eagle back um, and take to the sky. Um, breaking your, your wings up, you get a good view of the city from down below. Um, Uh There is visibly in the city streets outside the city walls, they're almost moving. (laughs) There are so many rattlings in, in the streets, but you can see um, as you survey from, from the air, um, that there are large groups of the Queen of Thieves men running down the roads trying to flee the city um, as well as others and, uh, and other stragglers fleeing the city. You can see far off in the distance from, from the air the camp of the Silver Order and where a camp is being rigged up around Ackerman Mill as well. Um, you can see Emberwood Village in the distance and the rest of the city looming large cu- teeming with rattling bodies and the haze itself you gotta clean this up <laughs> um, why did you make a bird sir? because I'm just excited to be on a bird and I just you know are you heading towards the mill Attack on oh, the okay. mill. Yeah. Okay. My family was there too, right? Mm-hmm. Because they were at the barracks and they were taken out by a river. Mm-hmm. Okay, good. Okay. I'm like I'm wondering if we should just fly to Castle Dragon, man. We could just we, we need eight people. Yeah, yeah, but like let's get a let's get a bunch of eagle people. I mean I can't really talk to you. You say that and I go Kaka That's <laughs> Okay, uh two kakas mean yes. To Eckerman Mill, and I think I feel like I'm controlling you. Like I've got like a big tuft of hair. I let you. I let you feel like you're steering you. Steering, but really, I'm just. Yeah, you're doing all. You land (laughs) tail feathers, and I'm like. (laughs) (laughs) We're making planes on. I am annoyed. Sebastian is annoyed. (laughs) You land at Eckerman Mill. Where the Caspian forces, the remnants of the Hooded Lanterns, and the River and Eldrick and those that are there are forming a makeshift camp 
of wagons, the few carriages that they had as well, and whatever tents the Hooded Lanterns had uh, amongst them. Um, As you arrive, you are greeted immediately by the Lieutenant Commander. Um, And already as well, the biggest thing that they've made is there's a huge area where they've partitioned all the people who were wounded in the battles. The Caspians and the Hooded Lanterns, not many of them were wounded because they got out before this whole thing really went down, but there are still many that are hurt. Um, And as you form back into Sebastian again, the lieutenant commander says, Well, it's good. I'm glad you all made it back. Rivers filled me in. Just tell me that it wasn't all in vain. We have all the pieces to, to end this. We don't know where the Queen of Thieves is. Something tells me that she's still got one play left, but at least we hold all the cards now. Well, the badges. She says she still holds some of the cards. What happened? How did you get these from her? She separated me from these two and asked me to sit down and talk with her. We talked. She said she wanted the throne. I told her no. She then said that we had to, um, that we could use the throne to do much good. I agreed that we could do that, but not with her. She then presented me all of the badges. I took them and left. As the the group of you assemble and others listen to this story, River, Eldrick, the Lieutenant Commander, Jupiter Jones are all assembled here and they kind of convene with a short meeting. They set up a little bit of a command post inside the Ackerman mill, draw up a table and everyone takes their seats. It's been a long day. Lord Commander. Yep. We'll have the casualty reports for you soon. Thank you. Do we want to debrief now, or do you need a rest? I think we should debrief and then take a rest. The more the quicker we can get this decided on our next steps, the, the better this will be. Also, whenever we can finish this meeting, I'd like to see my family before certainly we go back in there. River says, I, I, "I'm sorry. There's one thing that I just that just doesn't add up to me." Yes. Sebastian, do you mind if I cast some spells on you? It's an invasion of privacy. I'm going to trust you on this one, River, and I'm going to say go ahead. You're my friend, right? We're friends? Yeah? She cast detect magic and identify on you and scans you up and down and says, I'm sorry, I just... The telepathic bond broke. She cast a spell magic on me when I arrived. I just had to make sure that she hadn't messed with you. I mean, she's been messing with me a lot. But... But not magically, that I can tell. I don't trust this either, River. There's something going on here. But at least it's you. Veo, Pluto. You'd kn- When he disappeared and came back... How did you even know it was still him? He asked us the question. He, oh. He, he knew better. He, yeah. I looked in his eye. He asked us questions. Man, yeah, we did we're not really ask bad him at this. Questions. We're super not. We, we didn't even think about that. Thank you for your magic. Good call. River. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we were just so happy to see him again. We're all cool. And I just wanted to give him a big hug. I didn't care. It was more out of shock than anything that we were fine with it. But but River, I see where you're going with this. Something isn't right. There is going to be another play by the Queen. I know it. She said she wanted the throne. 
She said she would do it. To, we would all do it together. And then she let me walk out of there with the badges. Did you find out anything? What she wants, who she is, where she came from, anything? We found out everything. The Lord Commander speaks. Well, tell us. Who is she? Do I have to tell everybody? We're all working together here. Sebastian, do you want to? I guess I should be the one to tell everybody. It's up to you. The Queen of Thieves is Katarina von Kessel. That's impossible, says River. It's not impossible. Yet. And yet. I stood there face to face. I unmasked her. I The goggles that you made me. I saw her with true sight. And then she dropped her disguise. River, you know more than anybody here the history that I have. Sebastian. What if that wasn't the Queen of Thieves? What did the Queen of Thieves do last time you confronted her? Ran away? The last time we were at the cathedral with the Queen of Thieves, that wasn't the Queen of Thieves. But you used your goggles. Katarina could have been wearing a disguise but was still just a, a puppet is that what you're suggesting what if the queen of thieves is just using Katarina as a puppet then I left that puppet down there you know how to get back to her oh I mean even if she is a puppet we still have the badges. We still know what we need to do. But I left her down there. I could have saved her. I. Uh, it was the queen. It, it makes it makes sense, doesn't it? She wants the throne. She's 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 an heir to the throne. It it all it all pans out. Did you? You didn't. Did you have her as a prisoner? Did you get to examine her? Did you use your goggles? Did you use your magic? Was there magic on her? Did you determine for certain if there was a spell that was controlling her, if there was an item that was controlling her? I didn't really have time. It was a tense situation. River, you were not in there. You were not in that room. I didn't have 10 minutes to, to, to read from my book and, and, and throw out a ritual. She would, have, she would have seen that coming a mile away. I can't, I can't just fling out detect magic. It, 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 it's in my mom's spell book. It's not something I know. I, 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 I blow things up. I didn't have options. I didn't have tools. I Lacking that, we can't know for sure. Can Sebastian we? just like stands up from the table and walks to the back of the room and is just kicking stuff. In Can the we use the blood that was left in the vault to determine where the true Katarina is? We could. We could scry on her. Provided she doesn't have any protections in place. She has a private sanctum that's warded from divination magic. That'll do and it. And that's where I met her. That's where I left her. This is... The Lord Commander... Spe the, the Lieutenant Commander speaks up. What about her sister? We haven't seen her. Well, I haven't seen her ever. Last time he saw her, she was kind of not in a great place. The Queen of Thieves promised that we could get her sister back if we had the throne. That doesn't make any sense. I'm starting to think 
that I don't know what's happening anymore. I, I'm at a loss. Cause what do you, what do you mean that doesn't make sense? How would the throne let her do anything like that? I don't know. I don't know what the throne is capable of. The throne lets us control the walls in the city. Maybe it can open open portals. Maybe it's a magic throne. I, I, I went in there without a lot of information, okay? Mm-hmm. I'm playing with, with, with what I know. There's the, Maybe I, we I should... lost access to you guys. I, I was guessing. Maybe we should you, you have you guys best. check <laughs> okay. the, the badges. The Maybe they have something on them let's make yep. sure that they're okay we should what if I left cat down there then you left cat down there yeah that's not okay we'll examine the badges and make sure that everything makes sense because it just feels like it feels like she's still playing us river continues to cast the identify spell on each of them as you deliberate she touches the first one. She turns it around. There's a spell on this one. It's the Lord Commanders. This is... She points to it. You can't see it. It's invisible. But this is the marking of Leoman's instant summons. This item has been marked by someone powerful and bound to a talisman. If it's left unattended and that talisman is then broken, it's summoned back to the location of the talisman. And the only way to break the spell is at the talisman, not the object. So if any of us leave these, if we leave the badges unattended, she could call them back at any time. Only if they're left unattended? As long as they're in someone's possession. But why? Why would she do that? To make sure that she has control over them? It's smart. If if one of them gets lost, she claims it back. Lost as in not stolen. Maybe she's trusting all of us to go to the castle and she'll meet us there. No, no she, fi- would, she wouldn't trust us. If, if she trusted us, she wouldn't have put. She's still that using spell us. On it. And it's like this on all of them. I can check the rest of them. Even my tiara. The ones that you had in your possession, the staff of power and the tiara, are not. Uh, no, they don't have that. So then, I guess we have to make sure that we hold on to them. Can you know the other end of this doorway? Can you find out where this talisman is? Wherever the talisman that is bound to each of the objects is, as soon as that talisman is broken, it calls back. It calls the object back. But if the talisman is broken and someone holds it, the Queen of Thieves learns who learns where they are. So if she can't get it back, she'll be able to find you. Then we need to take those badges. Oh, we need to... I think that at this point, we have to... I mean... But she can only use it once, right? Even if she finds out where we are, she can't continue to use it. Conceivably, yes. Once she breaks the talisman, that's the end of the spell. And will we know it gets broken? Only if you detect magic on it and see if the marking is still there. Mm -hmm. And you can't remove it? The only way to undo... the, The marking is a magical sensor, but it's bound... But the, the only way to break the spell by dispelling it is by dispelling the talisman, not the object it's bound to. The way I see it is we have an extremely large rat problem in mm-hmm. the whole city. If we can get to the throne with all of the badges, we may be able to handle the rat problem. 
We have to continue on that plan. If we hold the badges, then she might show up and we should account for that. We should know that she's a possible threat. We also Let's not change the fact that... Marching away. It's true. If we're able to secure Castle Draken, secure the throne and the crown, we have the seals of the small council. That we have this, we could secure, we could go out now and secure resources. We have everything we need to restore the monarchy. We have an heir, we have the badges, we could restore the small council. We don't hold the throne itself, or the crown itself. But we have everything we need beyond that. You're right. Don't we need an eighth person to take the throne as well? We have one. We have George. We're going to bring him into the castle? It's the only way. He can. It's the only way. We can put him in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a car seat. He's not that young. You this see? is a R- oh, River says see. this is a dangerous plan. You three are very competent. But if we have to bring people, we have to bring four other people to work the badges plus an heir into Castle Draken. That puts all the pieces in one place. Wasn't that the plan from the beginning? The plan was to go to the castle uh, there's no other way that I see to, to, to finish this rattling problem and at the same time retake Drakenhut. That's the only plan. Mm. It might be a suicide mission, but we do have some competent people. River, I know you're not one for the battlefield, but we might need you on this. I know you know some tricks. You know how to handle yourself. Yes, but I'm not allowed to be one of the badge holders. I'm a member of the Academy. The only exception is the Archmage. What if the Archmage representative <laughs> of the Archmage wants protection? Sure. This is the most important mission that I think any of us have, and I think we need as many competent people with us as possible. That includes Jupiter. Absolutely. I wouldn't turn it down for the world. And all of your men. We We can bring them. But... We might spend many of their lives just getting to the castle. The Lord Commander... Or the, the Lieutenant Commander chimes in and says, It's very true. If we bring a bunch of Caspians and a bunch of Hooded Lanterns all marching up towards the castle... We're going to have to fight through the ratlings and the other creatures that dwell dwell there as well. We could bring everybody, but we might spend a lot of their lives in the process. That decision is up to you, Lord Commander. And Jupiter Jones, if you want to bring your soldiers. But it may not be the advantage that we would think it would be. I don't want to spare any more of the men's lives what we've lost or need to lose before really the war is upon us. I think we need to save our strength that way. What if we bring as many people as can fit on... River, do you know Polymorph? I do, yes. I can turn two people into giant eagles. You can turn one? Yeah. That's three giant eagles. So that's three people. That'd be nine total. If two we people could, ran... Yeah. We could take nine... Nine people. That's not enough. It's enough for all the badge holders. I still think maybe then... Jupiter... We could give him a badge. What if we... We give uh Go back and get Cat. What? What if we got Cat and gave her a badge? You want to give a badge to the Queen of Thieves? What if she's not the Queen of Thieves? I'm I'm really mixed she's, up on this. She's now. channeling the Queen of Thieves. It's it it makes sense that she's the Queen of Thieves, and 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 I mean, like, it's an angle I didn't consider that it was another puppet, which really upsets me. And I'm just not going to accept that as a possibility right now. It's just like if she wants 
to be in Castle Draken and she wants the badges and she has the ability to summon them at will if we don't have them guarded. I mean, what's the worst? That it's could very simple. If we gave her one. Pluto, she's going to show up regardless. Yeah. So then there's, so our, we just, there's I one we, of them. I say we just go there. She'll show up. And if she wants to participate and help save the city, she, you said she gave it to us to save the city. But you understand that from what she's described, she doesn't want to use one of the badges. Yeah. She wants to use the throne. She wants the throne. She needs seven other people. So she just wants us all to go there and do it for her. So in doing this, we're handing her everything she needs on a silver platter. Not if we know she's coming. We can we can fight her all together. What about... True. True. And she's probably betting on that. So what's our play? Show... We're going to have to plan for it. Him... Show River the weapon. I pull the box out of the bag and I set it on the table. You got it back. Do you want to check this as well? Make sure it's intact. She takes it. I mean, she examines it. The magic on the outside is all there. I have to open it to find out if it still works. Well, that's a wild card. I don't... We know how to take these things apart, but we need to take it back to the Academy to do that. Also, she knows we have it. So I don't know what our play is that she won't see coming. So far, the only thing she... Nothing. What's that? Nothing. Nothing. Sebastian, no more secrets. We need you here now. The only thing she didn't see coming was the rats. That caught her off guard. Oh. What? Yeah, now now I've said it out loud. In front of in front of everybody. What do you mean she didn't see the rats coming? I thought you said that she did that. Uh sh- I thought she did too. Yeah, you guys just told me to to tell the truth right now. So So you mean the rattlings weren't her doing? The rattlings are their own doing. We, um, we've had dealings with the rats in the past. They helped us get into the city through the tunnels, and we thought that they weren't too much of a problem. But then upon killing all the gnolls, they started to multiply and and feed and grow. And a demon. And then they found a demon statue. That taught them special magic, and now... That was Oscar's fault. Yeah, maybe it's about time that we came clean with all of this. Hey, Council, um... (laughs) Have you guys noticed any weird statues around the city? There have been... The gnolls have these... We're making totems. I We saw them all the time. We destroyed them. We didn't know really what to make of them. River Eldrick, did you guys go into the mirror dimension of my mother's? No, not at all. Good, that's private property. Um, (laughs) What kind of demon? What did it look like? Do you know its name, its nature? We know its name. Its name is Orcus. Orcus. And And Orcus is controlling the Rattlings. He's given them divine knowledge. Saying he's their god. And they have become mutated and... Orcus is a lord of death and pestilence, decay, disease. Rats? Makes sense. The Rattlings were a perfect fit. How they found that statue? Yeah. We'll never know. He, the powers from beyond <laughs> call out always for eager worshippers. Demons and beings like Orcus hunger to enter our world through whatever means they can. 
The sacred fire teaches us, if you believe it, that it is the faith in the flame that keeps the demons from entering our world. The sages of the academy have studied this phenomena for generations, trying to piece together what it is that prevents the planes from all collapsing in upon each other, for all hell to just break loose in our world. There is a ramshackle order to the universe that none can truly agree on what it is, but suffice it to say that beings like Orcus desire nothing more than to enter this world. For what purpose, for what reason, is beyond the will of sages. But beings like Orcus have hungered for that for millennia. And many of them Though they seem outwardly agents of chaos, they are patient, for they know that the age of the world always turns. Some believe, and very much so, the church believed for some time that magic was sent into this world by such forces as a way of letting those powers open up just the crack that they needed to flood forth. And it would seem that they have ne never wanted for willing worshippers. Whether or not this is the case or true, none can truly say. Just want to throw a theory out there as a high-ranking mage okay. Orcus can wait millenniums for his plans to take effect they say that the great demons and all of that may have brought magic to this world meteor hits our city a magical meteor demon statues start to show up all over the place and the rats of the city become infused with that magic rise up eventually finding the statues and now we're taking over the entire city could this all be a plan of orcuses is drakenheim ground zero for a portal to open and release the nine hells upon us What? <laughs> just, just a theory. I'm just spitballing here. But but it seems it seems weird that a magical meteor crashes here. It infuses the the creepy crawling monsters of the city to come out and mutate and and change and spread. And I don't even know what to like plan for dinner like tomorrow night. My ah, sword isn't even listening to me. Like, how do I fight this? What? How do we fight this otherworldly being? Now, this I, demon. I, guys, I'm just I'm just spitballing here. Like, that's that's just whoosh, that's. But you know. I, I have no proof. I believe you. I mean. And even if, uh, if we could stop it here, there's, we've been taking delirium out of the city for 15 years. So basically doing his legwork. If that's what it's meant to be. If the demon lords or one in particular Orcus is planning to make a play for our realm then by selling the delirium and shipping it off to places all over does that is that like have we doomed ourselves we have no way of knowing this for sure yeah you're right i'm 
Sorry. Well, you, you, there's no take backsies like, now with I'm conspiracy demons theorizing coming from other realms. It just seems weird that there's demon statues all over this place. Everybody I know is talking to them, and and the <laughs> ratlings are like worshiping it, and, and now they're taking over the entire city. There's a giant meteor that's. T- the, the, you even said the bomb might not even have a lasting effect because they absorb the haze and become more powerful. They're 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 little minions of the haze. The haze. But if this is the case, what's their end game? What's their next stage? I don't know. They they always talked about bringing the rat god. Then, clearly, we need to contain this problem. Which brings us back to the original plan. We have the Queen of Thieves as a wild card that could show up at any time, and we might be doing exactly what she wants us to do, but do we see any other option than to march into that throne room with all of the badges, try to defeat the rat problem in Drakenheim, and take that throne for ourselves, Mm. knowing that the Queen of Thieves is going to mess with us, but I don't think we have another play. What's Unless she somebody do? can come up with something. Rule over a city of ratlings? I doubt that's it. Sebastian, I, I doubt that's the city she wants to rule over. That's true. But at this stage, we might have to commit all the resources of the city to protecting the world from the city, not the other way around. Then that's where we find ourselves. There was a time when I wanted to save Drakenheim. But if destroying Drakenheim to save Caspia is the ultimate play, then I'm prepared to lay down my life. Now, let's be clear. We don't know what we don't know. But what Sebastian says cannot be ignored. At the same time, the delirium itself has offered us an unprecedented resource. And throughout the ages, we have successfully wielded these powers against powers outside this world. If the power could be turned against itself, it might be our best option. If we can secure the city without losing it, without losing any ground. We could use the resources of the throne to contain this problem until we can actually find out for with certainty that this is the case. I do agree because I, we, can't, we can't go just on my theories. I'm putting a lot of pieces together right now that are, it, it's a half-finished puzzle. Is this like one of those rooms with a bunch of pictures with string, <laughs> red string tied <laughs> all around? Yeah, that's basically what I've just And there's like pictures of done. Orcus and pictures of Drakenheim and you're scribbling. But if I, I actually, and I, I nod, I nod at Eldrick when he says all that and I'm like, we've always used magic to fight off evil in this world. And if magic comes from those dark places. I know mine sure does. My magic's always been from the darkest places of of myself, of my mind, of the Shadowfell. Which is why I've always just wanted to use those powers for good. If we, if there's still a chance to save Drakenheim and the world, then that's our ultimate victory. If it comes down to it and our final play is destroy Drakenheim to save the world, then that might be what we have to do. So we either lose Drakenheim without going to the castle, or we might lose it by going to. I would rather take the might than the surefire way. I still think it's our best play. We know the Queen of Thieves is going to get involved. We just... We don't have any... We'll deal with that. There's one piece that we're missing here, though. Is we need a Flamekeeper. We need a Cleric. Or a paladin. We have two options. <laughs> Lieutenant, I don't know if you're going to like our first option. <sighs> I'm listening. 
I think I can imagine what your two options are, what your two proposals are. You can read our minds. <laughs> Do you have the bond of telepathy? <laughs> First option, we look to someone who probably wants to keep the delirium in the city as much as the Academy does. Lucretia. I know it wouldn't do the paladins any favors, but right now they're well, probably not in their best books. Alternative is we try to get them back and we have Ophelia. So we either need to make amends with an enemy that we just slaughtered days ago. And that's marching on us to war. And has plans to burn down the city and destroy the delirium. So we have that option if Mm -hmm. there's a way that we can talk them into it or we approach the enemy of our enemy Lucretia Matthias she's an enemy of ours but I foresee that she wouldn't want the rats here any more any more than we do any more than any of us do so she might be willing she might be she's She's a powerful ally if she could be ours but what terms she'll demand and Eldra continues her and her throng pose just as much an issue they believe that the delirium is sacred they don't question it they will do reckless things with it if we negotiate with them at the very least, they will demand continued access to the city. They will demand the protection of the city. But we could offer that to them for how will they survive against the Ratlings otherwise? The way I see it is we don't have a lot of options at this point. And neither do they. And neither do they. That's great, yeah. If we, we if might. we align ourselves with her, though, we sort of solidify ourselves as enemies of the Paladins. I think we've already done that when you killed the <laughs> Knight Commander and I burnt all of the troops. I think that was... But this is true. There is a chance for... I, I feel like once we go down this path, our chances of ever making amends with the Paladins is gone. So we saved Drakenheim in the world, but we might we cemented a war against Illyria. To like Westmar and Caspia will be against Illyria. They but made that choice. Unfortunately, speaking politically, few things unite a nation better, a fragmented nation better than an enemy invasion. And making war against Illyria common war against Illyria would give the nobles and dukes of the provinces a reason to unite behind a new throne. A foreign invader would give us the political impetus that we need to give George legitimate control and power over all the other dukes. Then it all makes sense. It's a dangerous play, but it's our only play. And it seems like if we can pull it off, this may very well be a suicide mission. And any number of us in this room could die on this mission. I, I've i told myself for years now that I wanted to do something heroic to prove hmm. that I was using my powers for good. So if that's what it's going to be, I'm willing to put my life down. Very well. Let's... So we're going to get Lucretia Matthias. If you guys are okay with that. Fortunately, it's the lesser of two evils, but I think we have some common wants versus the paladins where we have nothing in common. We will need to assign the other badges. The Castellan Seal, the Lord Mayor's Circlet, the Guildmaster's Seal, and the Steward. Eric's supposed to be here soon, isn't he? He's on his way, yes. He might make a very good candidate for the council. 
Maybe take up your father's position. Yeah. I would... I would definitely approve of that. Pluto, speak your mind. Um, I was just thinking out loud, like, who else could be... Maybe would the lieutenant commander, I think, is proven himself time and time again. I can't take it. I'm under the command of, Veo, of Lord Commander Veo. I need him here to look after the troops that are left and to communicate with the dukes and the lords and set our plans in motion outside of the castle. Jupiter Jones. Jupiter Jones. I have a list. Yep. So Jupiter. Pluto can take one as well. So Pluto. I have you the have staff. one. I would have the Lord Commander. Jupiter could have one. Lucretia will have one. If she'll agree. Uh, Ansem or Petra. Again, Ansem and Petra as Hooded Lanterns, they cannot accept. Unless I kick them out. I mean, I won't kick them out. What if... Eric, we need one more. What What about my father? Your father? Soul. Conceivably. What if Petra stepped down from a Hooded Lantern position to become a member of the council? Technically, yes, but... There's a bit of a gray area there. Mm. We and can River, do it. River can't either. No. Who else do we know? I mean, I your mean, father is a choice, but then we have three Caspians on the council. Not that that's a problem. Sebastian. It's a bit of a problem. Why what is it a problem? Your father? Excuse My father? me. My father? My father? I mean, he's a he's a blacksmith. What position would he take? I don't know if he wants that sort of... Merchant? I think he's a leader in his community, is he not? We could ask him. I wouldn't force that on him. No. I'd say either maybe Pluto, your dad, or Sebastian, your dad. My father is a great warrior. And, uh, and, and he's come to the aid of Drakenheim. My father makes better armor than your father. Well, my dad doesn't make armor. <laughs> well, he just uses it. Alternatively, we could go with... Uh, <laughs> what's his name? Aldor? <laughs> Aldor is... He's a uh, merchant guild leader. <sighs> okay, Veo, Sebastian, Pluto. Jupiter, Lucretia. Eric. Eric. Who are we missing? Well, there's eight, right? That includes uh, George, George. Plus seven badges. Yeah, you and you can bring River if you want to, but she just can't be a badge. She's a bodyguard. Yeah, I just or want can her. Get you as, a big metal bodyguard. I mean, I want her and her bodyguard is like extra. Okay. Or if her bodyguard can even come, I think that just having a backup spellcaster. Mm-hmm. But I hope River doesn't die. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna bring Jupiter. You're gonna bring River. You're gonna bl- uh, Pluto's gonna take one of the badges. Yeah. You're gonna bring Eric, and you're gonna bring. You have one more. Soul. So, okay. Yeah. And do you, uh, I can tell you the effects of each of them. So if you you can choose which ones that you want to equip yourselves with. Okay. The steward is a periaptive proof against poison. The lord commander's seal is an amulet of health. The archmage's staff is a staff of power. The castellan's ring is a ring of telekinesis. The high flame keeper's phylactery is a necklace of prayer beads. The Lord Mayor's circlet is a helm of telepathy. Um, and the Guildmaster's seal is an amulet of proof against detection and location. Okay. Um, so here's my thoughts. Uh, me with the Lord Commander. It's the one I have to have. Uh, Sebastian, you have your yeah. s- rod. Uh, Pluto, you got the helm? Unless you want to switch something. Yeah, I, I could go either way. I'm open to anything. What was the detection one? Uh, that's the Guildmaster, which is the amulet of proof against detection and location. And then the Castellan. The Castellan is traditionally regarded as the master of the the castle defenses. And that's a ring of telekinesis. Ooh, I could do that. You want the ring? And you might be a good leader of defenses. I have to protect George. You one time led a hundred men into this city. Okay. Can we... So... <laughs> Um, we maybe forget about it. They were killed by rats, which is our current problem. So then, so. the ring for Pluto, uh, the detection one for Jupiter, 
um, Lucretia with the prayer beads, Eric with my father's badge, poison, and then your father gets your helm. The helm up to Lippin. Okay. So that will be the roster that you will be bringing with you to Castle Draken. Ooh, yep. And we're also bringing River. River. And do you... And your plan right now is to take the form of eagles and fly? Or do you want to take another route to get to the castle itself? You know where we could fly? Um, so, from what I know about the castle, is it that we have to go in the front door? Or can we come into it from a different angle? Yeah, how do the badges work to get us into the castle? <laughs> Bearing the badges allows you to unseal the gates. So I say just to avoid the rat problem. And a, as, as well, the those that bear the seals collectively will not be attacked by the aerial defenses of the castle. So it, it makes a lot of sense then if we can fly us all in. I'm just wondering if we should fly from the back and stay on the outskirts of the city rather than going straight through the city. Even in the air. True. We don't know if the ratlings are going to have, like, I don't know, at this point, mm-hmm. poison delirium arrows. <laughs> <laughs> I would love some of those. We'll actually. need to actually recruit Lucretia Matthias and uh, uh, ensure that she agrees right. um, to all this. Can okay. we send her and tell her, well, first of all, see if she's made it out of the city? Or should we go there and get her? Can we send, send her a message? Can we send her and say that we? Uh, yeah. What 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 do we think's best? I, we I could, think I think potentially just going to meet her. We could send her first and say we're sending Draken Force, an envoy, a peaceful mm-hmm. for a peaceful conversation about how best to handle the current problems in the city, <laughs> the current rap problem. And then well. it would be in her best interest. It would it would be in all of our best interests to have a discussion. I think the best that we're going to be able to offer her, we're going to have to offer the protection and allegiance of the throne and recognition by Westamar of the falling fire as a legitimate branch of the sacred fire. Recognized by Drakenheim. She is preaching a new faith. And that's been one of the things that they've been demanding. Could it not just be a new faith? Could it not just be a new... Not a branch, but a whole tree? I mean, there's uh, there are other denominations of the sacred fire. There have been many that have held different beliefs and have different disagreements. So it's not the first time there's... We'll need to, once this is all done, establish some rules and order to govern and control. They can have their religion, but I mean, like, they can't go killing non-worshippers or anything like that. Mm. Or um, I think any of the discussion that we have, we need to have including, included with her. Like, I think... Yeah. Yeah what her demands could be could be wildly outside of our our thoughts yeah. and ideas. We I think we need to get in touch to with her. her as soon if as she possible. doesn't agree to them, are we willing to go to Ophelia? We have to. That's unless you guys know any paladins in your Will it work in your if arms, they're unwilling? In your arms. Like if we kidnap Ophelia? We might have might. to be Ophelia. We might not be able to trust them. Oh, true. The council, we would be giving them, by all respects, anyone that we give one of these seals, it's like electing them to the badge of office of the city. Mm, Yeah, we should probably definitely trust them. Although I don't know if I trust Lucretia, but hey. River, River just observes. It's probably why the Queen of Thieves is didn't think that her own were suitable you can't trust a bunch of thieves and murderers and she knows that it's true 
So we do have to be aware that once we get in there, there is a possibility that the queen is going to show up and possibly try to kill George and take the throne for her own position. But she would need us to all agree. Well, I we mean, would have to support her. What if we have no other heir to put on the throne? What if she holds someone hostage? What could she what could she hold over us to make us do her bidding? Who knows at this stage? But that's an eventuality that we have to prepare for. Right now we need to secure Lucretia Matthias because without her we can't even get into that room. But if the Queen of Thieves makes a play and we're left with no other option, do we accept that? Or do we let the city fall? At that point... At that point we have to blow up the whole place. We let the city fall. Because the city can't survive if we can't control it. We have to be okay with containing this if 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 even a fraction of what you theorized is true this could have profound impact not just on this region but on the entire world you said we wanted to do the best thing for Drakenheim at the beginning of this and I think sometimes maybe the best thing for Drakenheim is if it's too far beyond or it's in the grasp of someone who can abuse it. I'm just saying that if the choice is let the city fall to chaos and be a threat like none other or let the Queen of Thieves sit the throne Oh. Yeah, she could be the only thing that could save us. Oh. If, if George... You, we keep saying that sh- that a mage can't sit on the throne. Is this again like one of those like rules? Like, rules. I can't be. Th- is it or is it like you sit on the throne and you become a skeleton? We saw that happen. It was real. Mm. Well, it was fake. It was okay. It real to me. Strictly speaking, the only thing enforcing the edicts of Lumen is the collective political will of the nations of the continent. It was established in the edicts that there were to be three pillars to the political order on this continent. The church, the academy, and the thrones. And that never should those three, should any one person have any sort of authority with more than one. Those in the church, those not. Now, of course... As we know with what's happened in Illyria, that situation is already eroded. And the church de- by de facto controls Illyria. So it's not like the Edicts of Lewin haven't been thrown out by those who claim to enforce them already. Hmm. Then I would say that for the good of the world, if it meant chaos or the queen sitting on the throne, I would rather have the queen on the throne. The wall As in chaos versus Drakenheim in chaos? Yeah. I'll have to agree with you there. I As hope we, it doesn't come to that. And at least we'll have Whatever's to happened to Katarina von Kessel us. is almost worse than what's happened to her mother. And I'm going to do everything I can to stop this. But I would rather see the world survive. This this demon thing is just blowing my mind. Question. And I look to you, Sebastian, and I say, Your mom had clones, didn't she? She had a clone, yes. What would it take to make a clone of George? I can ask my mother tonight if there's a way I can... We'd have to get back to the academy. Lanneth even tides magical abilities to do that. 
on precedence. Eldrick, do you know any other mages that can make a clone? <sighs> mages have sought for some time for means to extend their own lives. If there are members of the Academy that have discovered such means, it would only be one of the Archmages that that accomplishment alone would be worth the title. We could see, but even then, based on what you describe, we would need the resources and, strictly speaking, from what I can tell from the way the spell works, the clone it takes 120 days to mature a clone. Minimum. So, so after so after so by the reading of the clone spell, like so technically, yes, maybe there is somebody in the academy that can cast it. But you need 120 days to mature mature clone, uh, and you also need a ton of gold. <laughs> Other- but what if we took some of George's blood, sent it to the academy for uh-huh. safekeeping? That that's fine, but the the way the clone spell works is the clone has to be complete before before the... you die. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I'm yeah. wondering, is there any way if something happens to George? I mean, we'll have Lucretia with us, so maybe she can do something. But I have a scroll of Ray's dead. Um, <laughs> what does that raise them as? Yes. Um, he'll, he'll he'll be undead. I'm wondering if there's any way, like, to bring Undead's somebody like back from undead. just having a piece of them. And I look over to my George. Daddy. Will not die. No wait. Well, I can... Lucretia Matthias is powerful, and perhaps in that case, you see, this is the part of the issue you must understand. One of the issues that has been raised, quite specifically, with Lucretia Matthias and the Church of the Sacred Fire. And this is quite central, actually, and might be a problem if we want to work with Lucretia. Mm. The Falling Fire asserts a very old belief within the Church of the Sacred Fire that only those of a holy purpose are meant to receive the blessings of a resurrection. Part of what incited this whole thing, and one of Lucretia Matthias's main objections amongst the di- the the amongst the core belief that the Sacred Fire and the uh, uh, the Sacred Fire believes the delirium is blasphemous. The Falling Fire does not. They disagree. church has been selling their magic so like the the blessings the the resurrections and the sacred fire believe that the Lucretia maintains that that makes the church no better than the Amethyst Academy You go, girl. And she believes that the blessings of the sacred fire are to be given freely to those deserving of it. That's why I hate the paladins now. More than they're such liars. You agree with? Yeah, but I'd bet. All I'm saying is that that we can't purchase it except purchasing it from the paladin. So if George dies. The paladins will resurrect. Or Lucretia may. Or Lucretia may not. Depends no, on Lucretia reasoning. gives it freely to, to those, those who deserve it. Who deserve it? But that's up to her. How does she deem that? It just it just makes the paladins more hypocritical than they've ever been before. Hmm. No also, disagreement for me on that. Eldrick, if we sided with the paladins, you'd have to be okay with the potential that they would come in here and destroy all the delirium. That's what they're going to want. Exactly. We can't give that to them. It sounds like we have many risks to take. 
if we can secure the throne, though, we can defend Drakenheim from the Paladin invasion. The best plan of action I can say is that we cannot allow any grim fate to befall young George. Is he in the room? No, he's not yet. (laughs) No. (laughs) Pluto. Good. (laughs) I think that's going to be your top responsibility. I've said it. You may want to. Many times tonight. I've got an idea. I will protect him with my life. What if we make an illusion that one of us is George and he is someone else? What if I seeming (laughs) all of us to be George? (gasps) The Harry Potter trick. (laughs) They won't know which one of us to kill. They won't know which one to kill. If we're all George. Could try it. Well, you, why, no. don't, why don't I save that so that, like, <laughs> I don't know. It's going to be hard to tell who's who if we're all walking around as George. But if the Queen of Thieves shows up, mm-hmm. then we just, boom, we're all George. We can have, we can have uh, say, like, words. like Yeah, we can words. do the telepathic bond. Yeah, and code words. And I will... Do I sound like George in, in our heads if I look like George? Or no? I just sound like me? <laughs> yeah, if you're telepathically oh. bonded, you can still sound, sound like, like yourself. Yeah. yeah. Yep. We got it. Yeah, we're going to be fine. George is going to be fine. Did you... Question. Yeah. Did you retrieve Lenore's ring? Isn't that one of the... I I checked the bag of holding. It's not in there. Nope. (laughs) (laughs) You're scrambling through it? That's the Queen of Thieves way in. I like that ring. I kind of forgot about it. it. Looked good on me. I mean, but if we have a plan to outsmart her using her own magic, I like the sound of that. <sighs> Let's recuperate. I have a question. Did we say all this out loud without protecting our space? <laughs> no. <laughs> There's a telepathic bond in this room. We wrote it all down uh, and with secret glyphs. Damn it! <laughs> with that, this council concludes its meeting. Okay. As you prepare, We're you really do have the opportunity for a long rest, and congratulations, you've just reached level 11. Woo! Oh! Long rest. Oh, um, and then our hit points, <laughs> I'm assuming, go down again. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, because no, the hero's feast is off, yeah. Look at me, nine and nine. Oh man. Oh. That's not great. What? Guys, this is the end game. Oh. I see it's all there. The end game. Guys, it's official. I'm more rogue than Ranger. Ah What uh you're you're taking another another level of rogue? Oh I get expertise! <gasps> <gasps> Pluto, what are you going to do? You get a third attack. I'm going to just keep swinging. <laughs> just keep swinging. Just Sebastian, keep swinging, do you know what you're going to do for swinging. your level 11 gosh, gosh, level up? Gosh, gosh. Not. Uh, it looks like, I think it's just spells that I get. Yeah, six, level six spells. I haven't, I, I'll have that's to. A, that's a, that's a downtime. That's, time. <laughs> that's a big, big Mall over. Oh, oh, I have so many options. The only thing I can do for young boys <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I want to approach young George, and I, and I, and I, I take a knee. Is he there already? It, He's got his own tent that they've oh, set okay. up for him. Cool. Yeah, and I, and I. Hey, little buddy. George is a young man. He's about fourteen. Mm-hmm. Um, and he's fairly fe- featured. Um, the familial resemblance. Um. There's there's definitely more von Kessel in him than um, Jackson, Jackson. <laughs> um, because he, he has the the very the that kind of coiffed von Kessel uh, blonde hair like you he meeting him in, in in person while he's not impressive to look at he's rather thin young man of four, fourteen with long blonde hair. Um, and he's wearing a breastplate and has a rapier um, himself. He's been brought up in Caspian style. And as, oh as he says, 
He says, as you come in, Uncle, it's good to see you. Oh, nephew, it's good to see you too. <sighs> was the travel long? It w- it was, but grandfather says that this is all off for me. I don't really. <laughs> I th- I think I like Caspia better. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Listen here, little George. <laughs> You're not even there. <laughs> I know. Look, we both, I miss the homeland too. Hmm. But this is part of who you are. You're, uh, you're a man of two worlds. And you're going to have to make some tough decisions soon. And it's going to get dangerous. Oh, I, I know. I know. Mother and grandfather have prepared me for this. And, of course, I've got Keaton here, so I can stay brave. And he says, come on, boy. And he has a boxer puppy (laughs) that's wearing a sweater. (laughs) Turtleneck sweater? (laughs) Yes. With, like, it's blue with, like, gold lining. Yeah. Because it's very Caspian. Oh. oh. (laughs) Keaton's been keeping me uh, company. Keeps me brave. I'm going to kneel down and pet Keaton as I continue my... (laughs) The dog licks your hand. Oh, <laughs> it's gross. I I miss this. <laughs> I miss this. It's like a, a little moment. Look, um, I'm gonna be there for you, George, no matter what. And you can trust me, Sebastian, and Veo. I've heard so much about your friends. I'd quite like to meet them. You will. They are going to help you take the throne. Because you're a royal. You have royal blood in you. And it's time that you took up the throne and restored Drakenheim to its true purpose. And we're here to help you do it. I'm ready. I know you are. And I'm gonna... I'm ready. <laughs> And I'm gonna pull out the periaptic wound closure, like, and you're gonna. I need you to wear this, <laughs> <laughs> Uncle. It's a wonderful gift. Thank you. And it helped me a lot. <laughs> and now it's gonna help you. And just to abuse it, I use the telekinesis ring to like, wow, 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 like to float it over <laughs> around his neck. He's very impressed. <laughs> Such magic. I've always been fascinated with magic. Your friend Sebastian is a mage. They say that the mages of the academy are here. Is that true? He is the archmage. That's incredible. It is. Do you think he could teach me a spell? Why don't you ask him? Sebastian! (laughs) I was outside listening in. Hi. Vaya! I poke my head and I'm like, you don't want him to teach you magic. I will teach you magic. Look. That's incredible. I know. Hear that? <laughs> incredible. <laughs> so you can just you can just teach me to to magic? Look what Sebastian taught me no. and I am busy. <laughs> George. <laughs> in order to take the throne. <laughs> Veil. Bad kitty. <laughs> if he learns magic, Wait, what do you he can't. The dog. The oh, dog's okay. barking at you. <laughs> <laughs> Dog! <laughs> so much is happening in this tent right now. I've there, there, There's so many great tales of all the warriors of Caspia, but I've, I've read of all the great archmages of the academy. What they do is incredible. Uh, do you think you could teach me a spell? It's not that incredible, right? Right? It's a terrible burden. You'll murder everything you care about. <laughs> He's laughing. <laughs> it's nothing but darkness and incidents. All right. And okay. George problems. might need to go to sleep tonight. <laughs> and they'll, to you'll dress. send your friends to hell. <laughs> you'll destroy relationships. Your family will hate you. Uncle, he's scaring me. <laughs> I know. I know. Sebastian, Sebastian, reel it in, buddy. Reel it in. And then people you thought you loved 
are just there years later and they're like pulling off their face and they're just somebody else and then they're like oh we're gonna work together now and you're like oh this is all my fault okay, so make him go away on the child. you're dumping all of this on the child uh, I, don't do it I take my invisible don't face hand and I, on your face and I just push him out the don't door we're gonna pull, like, we're gonna pull. sorry <laughs> and that's where we're gonna end for tonight <laughs> Yes, that was funny. <laughs> I think that's where we'll wrap things up tonight. Thank you, as always, to our amazing cast, Jill, Kelly, and Joe, for playing. <laughs> and a very special thank you to Kyle, who keeps everything running behind the scenes and hangs out with you in chat and is the man, the legend, the thumb. <clears throat> Oh. And uh, always a shout out to our uh, tabletop audio for the ambient music. Um, we love it, and I hope you love it too. I really think it adds that just extra level of flavor to our games, and uh, you can do it too. So check it out at tabletopaudio.com. It's all free. Of course, don't forget to take a look at the links below for our Teespring store where you can get all your fave Dungeon Dude shirts, including Troll Killer, Yes, 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 and Dragon Force. Uh, Reppin as we make our way to the castle. Don't forget bit.ly slash dungeon dudes merch. Whose line is it? Anyways? It's yours. Oh, is it mine? I'm so engrossed in writing my notes. If you're enjoying the stream and you want to support our work, you can check us out on Patreon. You can find that by following the links below or at patreon.com slash dungeon underscore dudes. We have a phenomenal Discord community available exclusively for our patrons where you can discuss role-playing games, the latest episode of our show, or just chat about your favorite geeky topics. I want to talk about that new on Earth Arcana. That just came out this Ooh, week. Yeah, really cool stuff actually in that one. So join us on Discord and we can. Yeah, you told me about one. Yeah, it's, it's very very cool ones. cool They've stuff. Ch- it's changing everything. Yeah. Ooh. There's yep. options. For um, with that, Kelly and I also post new videos every Thursday on our YouTube channel where we cover everything Dungeons and Dragons, including advice for dungeon masters and guides for players. This week we've got our episode on the how to play a divination wizard. <gasps> So you want to magic like me? Yeah, check that one out. You'll also find prior episodes uh, from this campaign available for your viewing pleasure there as well. <clears throat> Be sure to join us live next Tuesday when we record the campaign live on Twitch. Check us out from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern time at twitch.tv slash dungeon underscore dudes you can also watch the video episodes of the show on YouTube. And if you are watching with us live, this episode aired on a Monday night because tomorrow on Tuesday, November 5th, Kelly will be running Monster of the Week Woo! at our regular Draken time. Um, so There's tomorrow, a- part three of Monster of the Week, Kelly, what's it going to be? It's going to be called Radio Silence. Cool. Dun, 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 dun. Now there is a chance I should say so uh, we haven't heard officially yet Mitch might be not getting off work until a little bit later so there's a chance no, he's Oh he's good he's good he's good, he's good. He he's good. good. Yay. Okay. I, I, I just saw a floating thumbs up from behind the camera <laughs> so never mind we should be good to start at six o'clock okay so with that check us out tomorrow we're gonna be doing some extra streaming for you bonus time and with that thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time in the Dungeons of Drakenheim. Mm-hmm.